Ahoy there! I'm Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. So? So, it's good to meet you, Mr... Bill. Bill? That's your pirate name? Bill? Cutthroat Bill. Oh, I see. Well, that puts a whole new spin on it, doesn't it? How'd you break into the hairstyling industry? I saw an ad to join a barbershop quartet. Got a problem with that? No, that must be very rewarding work. What's that supposed to mean? Mean? Just that, you know, cutting hair and um, singing must be just a lot of fun. It's like a party every day. Some days I just don't know how to contain my joy. I get giddy, and the laughter bubbles out of me like a sparkling fountain of mirth and gaiety. Okay, new topic. Are you ever going back to pirating? Maybe. Someday. If I find the right captain. Perfect! I'll be your captain. Onward to Blood Island and high adventure. Wanna come? You, a captain? Hardly. I'm the mighty pirate who defeated LeChuck. And what do you have to show for it? I've got a ton of cool stories. Treasure? Immense mounds of gold and diamonds? Solid gold scepters of power? Anything? Well, I've got these nickels. Wooden? Uh, yeah. Some treasure hunter you are. You couldn't find gold in a jewelry shop. I bet I could find gold on this very island. How much would you bet? Well, I've got these nickels. Right. Come back when you have some real treasure to show me. Do you really enjoy being a barber? It's a steady income. Pirate stories. Got any? Okay. Here's a story. I started out as a crewman on the raging tightwad, sailing out of Puerto Pollo. The captain was a master treasure hunter, a diviner from some ancient secret society. He had some weird fifth sense when it came to finding objects of value. Don't you mean sixth sense? No. By some cruel trick of nature, he was born without taste buds. But his other senses took over and gave him an uncanny ability to find treasure. We left port without a map, guided only by the captain's keen senses. We spent the first week going around in circles, until we realized the crew's gold earrings were throwing the captain off. After we tossed all our jewelry, gold coins, and belt buckles overboard, we got back on course. Your captain sounds like a real freak show. Many of us on board started to think the same thing. We sailed for two years, and had finally started back to Plunder Island. But just as we started to doubt him, he paid off. We found sunken treasure right off the coast. Wait a second. Was it an enormous pile of jewelry and gold coins and belt buckles at the bottom of the bay? Exactly. How did you know that? I just had a feeling. Say, uh, what you eating there? Jawbreaker. Is it good? Yep. You don't say much, do you? Nope. That's a really good jawbreaker there, huh? Yep. Well, that's just terrific, isn't it? Yep. It's been a pleasure. Bye. I don't want that. I'm a vegetarian. Bit o jerky bubblegum. Ahoy there! I'm Guybrush Threepwood. I see, and I don't care. I'm a mighty pirate. Ha! What do you mean, ha? I meant just what I said. Ha! If you're a mighty pirate, then I'm bored. I'm mighty enough to defeat LeChuck. Twice. Lechuk? Ha! Even if he's dead, there's just no excuse for that hair. So you're a ship captain, huh? Not just any ship captain. Don't tell me you've never heard of Captain Rene Rottingham. I've never heard of Captain Rottingham. I'm only the most cunning and well-groomed captain ever to say of the Caribbean. Well, how'd you like to join my crew? Me? Serve on your crew? Please don't make me break into hysterical laughter while this buffoon is working on my hair. 
Why don't you want to join my crew? I serve under no man. Oh, boy. Now, just one second. If there's any treasure to be found, I'm going to be the man to find it. And I'll look absolutely stunning while I'm doing it. Well, I didn't want you on my crew anyway. That's your loss. And boy, lose the ponytail. It's so last year. Did you know you're starting to go gray? I most certainly am not. Uh, don't get me wrong. Gray hair suits you. It doesn't. I mean, of course it would. But uh, I don't have to worry about that for several years. If I were you, I'd worry more about those split ends. Split ends? I'll have you know I've killed men for comments less slanderous than that. You've got a bald spot starting here in the back. What? You're lying, of course. If you say so. All I know is that there's definitely some kind of shine going on back here. You seem irritable. Is it from your dry scalp? My scalp is lovingly massaged with the finest creams and oils in the world. Twice daily. Yeah, that's a little more than I wanted to know. Your petty jobs and insults mean nothing to me. They're doing great things with dandruff shampoo these days. I suggest you leave, boy, before you force me to defend my honor. Fire! Run for your life! I'm sure the authorities probably have the situation under control. But just in case, Baba, more moisturizer. Rabbit dogs are on the loose! Get out, now! I don't hear anything. There are no rabbit dogs on the loose. That's just what they want you to think. There's an axe-wielding maniac at the door! Flee! Perhaps you should offer yourself as a sacrifice so the rest of us may be saved. The calls are coming from within the barber shop. You must get out immediately. I have no idea what you're talking about. Leave us alone. Storms are coming. Better get a move on. Could be a twister. Then I'm most definitely staying inside. The humidity does horrible things to my hair. Captain Rottingham, you're being paged. Take a message. You know, sitting down for too long can be unhealthy. It's a serious risk to your cardiovascular system. I think a nice jog could be just what you need right about now. Up and at him. Go away. You seem busy. I'll come back later. Holy infestation! You've been struck with the hair demons. What are you talking about? The cursed head vermin. The scourge of every hygienic sailor on the seven seas. That's a lie! Sure as I'm standing here, they're wriggling about your scalp like a pack of wretched sea lions. Good analogy. This calls for drastic action. I'm bringing in old iron sides. No, no, let's not be too rash. Rash? That's a bad sign. There's no time to lose. I'm going to have to amputate. No, no, you'll ruin my hair!